morning. Good morning, neighborhood community. Yeah, good. They were sick of hearing me say that. And people said you've been doing good. Okay. <laughs> they have been. I think they're being nice. They said you've been doing good with the good mornings. So, we're back on, not your original medication, but the first change. Um, yeah, you, but it's still out of my system, so I'm still working on getting some of the medication back into my system. So, I'm still not 100% yet. Yeah. But I'm feeling better. Mm. Um, I'm a little manic. Oh, and we'll put you to work then. No, I'm not manic like that. I'm just, I feel very hyper. Mm. Not energetic. I feel very hyper. But tired, mm. if that makes sense. I did sleep last night, but the night before I didn't sleep at all. Maybe, uh -huh. maybe two hours, if that. Um, but <sighs> keep seeing crickets all over the place. Well, <laughs> the smaller ones get out of the cage because there's a little space between the glass. Yeah, and they so. keep ending up in here. And finally, I just told Kevin yesterday, put it outside. <laughs> <laughs> Just let them they go. Es they escaped. <laughs> let them free. <laughs> let them run free. So, um, probably drowned in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, what did everybody think of last night's Walking Dead? It was interesting. I still have the same problem that I think it's moving kind of slow. But, it is moving slow. But they're setting things up. They're showing right. where everybody is and this and that. But uh, right. yeah, it's a little They slow. can't just go into what's going to happen. Yeah. They got to strategically move into it. So um, I am coloring in my new coloring book today and just watching TV. Um, my birthday's coming up. Uh-oh. Yeah. Going to be 29 again. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> 29. So. What are you doing today? Um, uh, I'm, I, I'm not really sure, you know. I keep uh, saying I'm going to go upstairs, but then I never do. But I probably should do what I can. Um, we haven't gotten our federal return yet, so we don't have any money. We need to get the storage unit and get the stuff out of here, because Taylor's waiting for our phone call to do that. Oh, okay. Is he here? Yes, he's in uh, town. I didn't know that. But, yes. yeah, we've been kind of, I've been kind of putting it off because, you know, I'm going so slow that um, I don't need, really need the living room cleared yet, because I'm not doing anything on the floor. I'm still doing walls. But it would be nice to get this room cleared so I can clean. I understand, but it costs money. and uh, I know. So, the more we can put that off, and it can all happen at, at once, I'm assuming. And uh, we have a lot of stuff that needs to, to go in storage right now. And it looks like it's going to be a large storage unit. Hopefully it's not going to be there for a long time. But I just think that the longer we put it off, the less money we're going to be spending. Yeah, but it, I have to be able to clean and get the house ready for staging. Yeah, I understand. And plus carpeting. Yeah, we're not near that yet. We could be getting closer to it if I had more space. Yes, dear. Like someone said in, in the video, it's time to declutter the neighbors. That's why everything's so cluttered, whoever made that comment, is because we're in the process of packing and sorting and moving. We got standing room only. Yeah. <laughs> and we got the gathering still out and not <laughs> dressed appropriately for the next holiday. Yeah, I know. We're still on Christmas, actually. Terrible. No, we're kind of in between. We used to be so on top of holidays. <laughs> All right, so it's raining today. I haven't been paying too much attention to the weather. I know it was supposed to rain yesterday. 
maybe it just uh, came in a little slower than it was supposed to be. So right now I'm just gathering uh, trash because tomorrow's trash day. So and, and the big thing is is uh, carpet remnants on the side of the house here. I always wait till the last day to fill the trash can with it, uh, just in case I don't have enough room. So that's what I'm doing, and after that, I will uh, decide what I'm going to do inside the house. Okay, so back upstairs to the dreaded ceiling. Uh, I've got it flooded with light now. I've got all my uh, lights up in here. I want to make sure I get it as smooth as possible. I'm going to scrape it first with the scraper. Got a couple of different types. And sand it by hand. And uh, then I will fill whatever holes are left. And uh, hopefully that will all be done today. If I can do that today, I can start painting. When I have the money to start painting. So, here we go. Alright, so I'm actually liking the way the roof is looking. It's, it's not going to be smooth, it's going to be textured. And it's coming out very similar to the walls, so I'm not going to fight with that. I'm going to paint it. It's, I'm going to paint the ceiling a flat white. i got to see if I have it. It would be nice if I could actually get it done today. And the only other thing I'm going to do is uh, knock down sharp spots on the ceiling and on the walls. There need, there's holes that still need to be filled in here. Um, and uh, sand it down a little so it's not quite so crazy. And then I'm, I'm done up here, I think. Okay, so um, I'm pretty happy with what I've got so far. Everything seems to be um, smoothed down. I filled off, filled up finally all the various holes. Um, the ceiling just needs to be painted and then I can uh, put a new light fixture in. Uh, because of the deck, in fact, I don't have a long enough ladder, I'm going to paint the ceiling now and uh, half of the walls so that uh, I have a platform to do that with. And then I can move the platform and uh, finish to the floor on the first floor. So that's what I plan on doing. I will probably continue downstairs. I still got a little plaster left. Fill some more holes, do a little more scraping, get everything ready for painting. So that's the next step. Can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> no, but mommy can with her nails that, on that, my chin. That always helps. Ooh. Okay, so this is the end of another video. You almost knocked the monkey off my head. Don't knock the monkey off my head! It'll just be on your back. You got a monkey on no, your back? I gotta keep the monkey on my head. Yes, dear. Monkey on head. Yeah. Anyway. Yes, hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not a cat. No, you're not a cat. You don't play with the pom pom. Um, <laughs> I touched Mama Kitty twice this week, guys. Wow. Yeah. I got to touch her. It's working. You get, you're going to hit me with that bill and I'm going to end up hurting you. Well, come on. Anyway, um, real quick before we say goodnight, I want to ask, um, we're still not ready to do shout outs this week, so we're not going to be doing shout outs, but I do want to send out a special shout out for April and Haley. Um, hi guys. Um, April, or, yes, April goes in for her surgery on Thursday. Mm. So if everybody could please keep her in your thoughts and prayers um, for her surgery, I would greatly appreciate that. 
plus Sylvia Phillips from Faith, Hope, and Love is having some medical issues herself. Um, she actually went to the emergency room the other day. She's having problems with walking. Um, if everybody could possibly please keep them in your th uh, thoughts and prayers, or Sylvia in your thoughts and prayers as well. Um, she has to go see a neurosurgeon. Um, so let's keep the positive thoughts and prayers for her as well to make sure that everything goes smoothly for her. Um, other than that, we hope you saw a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. And if you did, please give us a favorite, a share, and please subscribe. And we will see you all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.